previously on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. And every day you get to meet 30 girlfriends at the same time. Bubba introduced the bull, the local rancher Brett Dalrymple's herd of heifers. Well, he's a good looking joker. And Brett was pleased with the guy's work. Excellent job on taking care of the cattle. Good deal, man. The full time. Let's do it. All right, buddy. After touring the History Museum, Cody got it in his head that Booger and Bubba were secretly kin. Do they look anything alike? Seriously, right now, look, look at them. A little bit, yeah. They do, don't they? But a DNA test proved otherwise, much to the relief of Booger and Bubba. One thing about it, it don't say me and Bubba is related. You can quit pondering and worrying about the situation, and you can get back to work. How are we gonna have time to play any t-ball with everything else going on? Come play t-ball with me. Booger changed his tune about Matthew playing t-ball and showed his family he can be both coach and cowboy. Faster, buddy, faster. Good hit, we found him. And now, on this episode of The Cowboy Way. I saw online today, there's a new property listed. Jacqueline has had enough of Booger's bachelor pad and encourages Booger to find land. It's so cheap, we could totally remodel it and still have a really good deal on it. Could this be the property of their dreams? I can't wait to see this place. I mean, I don't want to be the traditional buyer flowers, take her out to dinner. Yeah. Cody struggles to find the perfect gift for Misty on their fourth wedding anniversary. I have a surprise for you. And all the while, Misty's been planning a surprise of her own. Ever since I met you, you have been the wind underneath my wings, babe. No. They're all for sale. Yeah, I, I would love to meet up with you. After months of hard work, the guys worry they may never see a paycheck when they struggle to find a buyer for the herd. Well, Mr. Mickey, what do you think about the cattle? Well, guys, I think we're a little light on the weight. It's just part of the business. Y'all know yes, that. Sir. Larry say when he called you? He just like he was panicking. He said, y'all need to get over here to the trailer park right now. We got an issue. I, I ain't no him. telling with Larry. There's a lady over there. There he is right there. Today we're heading to the trailer park that borders one of our pastures. Mr. Larry has called us. He's in a panic and told us to come and come quick. Mr. Larry's the guy that always shows up when he finds out we're hiring. Well, look at here. I'm perfect for this job. I mean, picking somebody else makes about as much sense as putting lipstick on a rooster. It just ain't gonna look right. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know if something's really wrong or Larry's just trying to get a foot up on the competition. You really can't ever tell when it comes to Larry. Morning. What's your horse so sweaty for? I've been chasing your cows. Y'all got to do something about these darn cows. They in this park? They're, yeah. in the, they're in the trailer park? They're in the trailer park. Well, have you checked uh, the fence? All down here. I ain't done your job. All That's right. your fence. My fence is good. Huh. Man, I've had folks calling me since 6 o'clock this morning. Cows in the yard, tearing up flowers, eating vegetable plants. Larry, you know all these people. You go down through there telling what's up and that we're here. What makes you think these folks like me? I'm the landlord. How many's out there? I seen at least five. Just then, sounded like more in the woods. This situation is not good. We've got five cows roaming around the trailer park right now. They're a hazard to themselves, a hazard to the tenants. We've got to get this problem taken care of right now. All right, y'all ready to stop arguing now? Let's go get these cows? Yeah, jump on old Princess there and let's oh, ride. Oh, yeah. It's always the hardest. The horse don't know how to do this, and I'm too old. And y'all can with tell us today. my horse ain't educated now. She ain't like y'all's. Is... Show us where you last seen them out there. Right. Show them where you last. Like. Get them out of there. <laughs> what the hell? Get that out of there. Hold on. Show us where you last seen them out there. Let's out now. Larry <laughs> always <laughs> wanted to be a big ranching cowboy. I think he's kind of looking at today like a Audition. You know where to get through here. What's going on out there, Larry? Can't you get them cattle wrangled yet? Uh, I do my best. I can't go any farther. There's too many wait a minute vines in here. Need a machete. Hey, look here, Th them, them cattle are headed down that way right there toward them dumpsters. The fence on that side is bad. If they get in that pasture, we're gonna have to go rope. Yikes. This is a nightmare. We find the hole in the fence. Now that explains how the cattle got out of Brett's pasture into the trailer park. Now we need to just get them rounded up and get them back in. They're gonna 
gotta go that way. Get out of here, Winnie. Are you stepping left up? Or you got him right here. Lay down, turn. Lay down, turn. I'm telling you for the last time, stay out of my yard. Now head to that hole. Keep murdering woods. Come on, let's catch him, Bubba. After roping one cow, it's apparent that this is not the way to catch these cattle and get them out of the trailer park. We're gonna have to regroup and find some way to drive these cattle out of the trailer park without tearing everything up. Watch out for the cut off lines. Back in there, boys. Off Glad we got that done. Now we can go on about our job. What we doing to start with? Call Brett, Bubba, see if he can come over and help us. Part of the deal that we made with Mr. Brett is we were going to go take care of the cow. The last thing we wanted to do was call Mr. Brett, but there really wasn't much else to be done. We're miles from our truck and trailer. Hated to do it, but we got to call Mr. Brett to come get this cat. What in the world? We had cattle loose in the trailer park. Brett, we wouldn't even called you, man. We were just so far from everything. We've been checking cattle, and we just we, we had to get her out there somewhere. So. Hey, there was cattle all over this trailer park when we got here. We got them back together and ended up having to catch this one. She kept trying to run off in the woods. Good gracious. Yes. Sorry to bother you, man. I'm sorry to bother you. Y'all handle this now. That's what y'all's job is. Just handle it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Basically, Brett's upset because we had to call him off of his other job. I just hope he understands that we weren't trying to take him away from his job, but yet we needed help, and I hope this deal can continue to go through because it seems to be working out just fine. Larry? Larry, what's going on? Ah, uh, she's a little cantankerous. Easy now. Well, Larry, we got the cattle put back in the pasture. Get them tomato plants planted back down yonder? Mm -hmm. We ain't messing with no tomato How plants. How about them squash plants that's on critical list down there? No, but we got the cattle back in. But I sure appreciate y'all getting in here and getting them out, and y'all got to keep them out. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> well, that turned out a lot better than it could have been. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Hey, the good news is them cattle look good. They're about ready to ship. Well, let me check and see what the board is right is now. Is it open yet? I ain't checked it all day. Yeah, it ought to be open by now. Well, guys, it's, it's up. Up the limit today. It's, it's up the limit today. We need to go ahead and get somebody interested in these cattle right now. They there. They are there. Yeah, we need to get these cattle advertised. Look, I need to ask y'all something. You know, me and Miss have been married four years coming up. Four years. What y'all reckon I ought to get her? Well, I'm not even asking y'all. I've been married longer than both of y'all put together. And you're the youngest one, I'm too. Young. You got to get her anniversary gift yeah. for four years. We didn't have really a third anniversary because Carter was born five days before. Our anniversary. I don't know what to get her, man. I'm gonna just ask my mom. That's the best thing for you to do is just ask her. Mm -hmm. They've been married 30 know. something years. Hey, let's get out here for Larry gets back. I need to take you. Our anniversary's coming up, and I mean, I don't want to be the traditional buyer flowers, take her out to dinner, yeah, chocolate, or you need to come up with something, you know, special, adventurous, or I know, I know. don't know. I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to get Misty for our fourth anniversary, and there ain't a better person I think that I can ask than my mom. My mom and dad have been married a long time. What do you have in mind? What does she has she if ever? You, if, if I asked, if I went to Missy a day and said, "Hey, babe, you want to do something special for your anniversary?" She would say, "This is her exact words." It would be, "No, let's just let's just hang out be because together. and take that money that you would spend on our anniversary mm -hmm. and put it into our house account." That's exactly what she would say. But I, I want to do something. You know, and I'm having a hard time coming up with a gift because we've done so much. We've lived a really good life. I mean, we've done a lot of things. We've seen a lot of places. I mean, it's just it's really hard for me to nail down something special for our fourth anniversary. I've only been married four years. I swear to you, it feels like 
We've been married a lifetime. I can't remember a point in time not being married to Misty. Yeah. Try being married 33 years. It's like, where did that time go? What is, the, what is the secret? What is the key to a long, happy marriage? I don't know that there's one certain thing, yeah. but a lot of it's, I mean, you work together, compromise, and we do things together. You know, we go to the grocery store together. I mean, yeah. I know that sounds kind of boring, no, but... Some. We could go grocery shopping first. Y'all go grocery would, shopping. And she would love that. But go I, out to eat first, then go grocery shopping. I know, but go out. I mean, that's easy. I don't know. I just want to do something special. I really do. I just can't figure out what it is. I'm trying to just surprise her. A day on the uh, on the river, beach. Beach. What life. about a hot air balloon ride? Well, sweetie, you'll figure it out. I have faith that you'll come up with something really I good. I know. I know. It's just... As long as I get to babysit. You are the designated babysitter. I'm glad I really talked to my mom about this because it really got me thinking about what I can do and what I want to do for my wife for our fourth anniversary. I could lip sing to a cool song for her, yeah. like, I put on a concert. You could do that. Coming up. I saw online today there's a new property listed. It's down River Road. Sweetheart, you don't want to live on River Road. How do you know where I want to live? I'm telling you, this ain't your average dirt road. Thank you. He ain't gonna buy no cattle. I knew he wasn't serious. He was serious, but I mean, I knew he wasn't about it. Wasn't gonna give that for them cattle. Oh well. Everybody ready for school? Yep, we're just about ready. Matthew, did you sleep good last night? Yes, sir. Good deal. Hey. I saw online today, there's a new property listed, and it's close to your parents' house, which is like exactly where I want to be. Well, oh, they're around my mom and dad's? Mm hmm It's down River Road. The house is rough, but it's so cheap, we could totally remodel it and still have, like, a really good deal on it. Booger is supposed to be looking for a piece of property for us, but I feel like that's not moving very fast, so I've been looking myself online every single day. And this morning, a new listing popped up. And the price is really, really reasonable. So I can't wait to go look at it. Sweetheart, you don't want to live on River Road. How do you know where I want to live? I'm telling you, this ain't your average dirt road. <laughs> it's about seven miles long, and nobody lives on that road, very few people. And they don't ever grade it about once every three or four months. You said you wanted to live where there weren't a lot of neighbors. I mean, this sounds perfect to me. It is like so cheap. I know why it's cheap, because you'll spend that much more money trying to fix your vehicles from going up down that road. I just can't imagine that a road could be that bad that it could ruin, like, even looking at a house on that road. I grew up around here my whole life. I know all about River Road. There's a reason it's called River Road, not just because it's on the river, because it turns into a river when it rains. I understand Jacqueline wants out of this bachelor pad as soon as possible, but living on River Road, that's just gonna be a worse pain in the neck. It's funny how all of a sudden now you're too good for a dirt road. No, I'm not too good for a dirt <laughs> road, but I don't wanna live on one seven miles long that they grade every six months. This will get me 20 minutes closer to work. We'll be right around the corner from your parents. I just can't imagine that it could be that bad. I mean, can we go today after we drop them off at school? Okay, we're gonna go down River Road. You tell me if you wanna go five miles an hour or 50, it don't bother me. It cannot be that bad. You wanna go down River Road? We'll go down River Road if that's what you really want. Come on, bud, let's go to school. Hello? Yes, sir, this is Bubba. Yes, sir, how you doing? Yes, sir, that's right. Booger, myself, and Cody, we've been looking after the cattle for Brett Dalrymple. I get a call from a local buyer, and he's interested in these cattle that we're raising for Brett. And to be honest with you, I've been stressed out about not having a buyer, because if you ain't got a buyer, that means you gotta continue to feed the cattle. And if we've gotta continue to feed the cattle, that's money out of our pockets. We wanna make money, not lose money. We've got about six loads out there right now. They're all ready to go. They weigh about 750, 765 on the average. They are all grade A number ones. They look good, they're in good health, putting on weight really fast. We haven't had any trouble with them. Of course, they've had grade A cowboys looking after them too. They're all for sale. Yeah, I, I would love to meet up with you. Yes, sir. You just call me and let me know when you're ready and I'll meet you out in the pasture and 
show you all the cattle we got. Mr. Mickey said he wants to set up a time and come look at these cattle. If he comes and looks at them and he likes what he sees and buys them, then hey, we all win. If he doesn't like what he sees, we'll have to go to plan B. But the problem is, I don't have a plan B. Yes, sir. I look forward to meeting you too. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Yes, ma'am. Guess what I got? What's that? That would be the final draft. It's done? It's done. <laughs> Is that cool or what? That's oh, cowboy really cool, cool, huh? Yeah. You have no idea how much this means to me. I mean it. Miss Ashley comes to tell me she has a final mm. draft for my book. I'm here to tell you it's kind of crazy. It brings me down in tears. It's very exciting right now. Misty and I's fourth anniversary is coming up, and my book is almost finished. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just. That's all right. To, for there to be a book right here with my name on it, you know, it's, it's just real. Well, you did it. Well, we did it. We did. We make a great team. You know, I'm kind of flipping through the pages of my book. I'm just. I'm blown away by my own words. I really am. I mean, they're words of truth. They're words of sincerity. They're words that'll make you laugh. Some might make you cry. I mean, they're just, there's so much truth in these words that it's just, just amazing to be reading them. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yes, it was fun. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Proud of us. Yes, me too. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks I'll be again. talking to you soon. Yes, ma'am. Take care. Coming up. Well, Mr. Mickey, what do you think about the cattle? Well, guys, with this board being like it is up and down, it's, it's uh, I think we're a little light on the weight. Did Matthew forget his book bag in here? No, he took it. Oh. I'm so excited we're coming out here to look at this property. You realize we haven't looked at hardly any property? I mean, we want to buy it so bad, but we just can't find anything. Jacqueline found a nice piece of property on River Road. She really wants to go see it, being that the price is so low. I agreed to go check it out with her, but I know she's really not gonna like what she sees once we start down River Road. It's kind of dusty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bumpy. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Booger's pretty smug right now. I'm hoping when we get there that Booger realizes that we can make this piece of property work. If we like this place and you think it'll be too rough on my car, we can just trade my car in and get a truck. Right now it's drier, but when it rains on this road, it gets rough. I'm telling them big log trucks come through here and they beat it out, they beat big holes in it. You don't want to buy you a truck and then beat the heck out of it up and down this dirt road. Now do you? We've been on this road forever. Where is this house? It's at least three and a half miles before you start seeing any houses. Look, the road's closed. Oh my gosh. As we're driving down the road trying to get to this house, I realize that this dirt road is not just any dirt road. It's so rough that the road is actually closed. That's just my luck. If it's just around that corner, can't we just walk down there and see the house? The house ain't just around the corner. The washout is right around the corner, or whatever it is, the bridge is out or something. Well, we drove so far, I mean, it's gotta be close. When you're going to look at a house, if you have to walk to it to see it, that means later on in life, you're gonna have to walk to it to live there. I mean, it, we're getting this place so cheap. I mean, maybe, maybe we can figure out how to get this road paved. <laughs> this place ain't getting paved, sweetie. There's not enough people that lives on it. <sighs> if this is any sign, we shouldn't live on this road. It's a road close sign. You're right. Say that again? You're right. Oh, okay, I got it that You time. know these roads like the back of your hand. You've grown up here. I don't know what I was thinking not listening to you. I just really got excited. You're just gonna have to find me something to look at, please. I'm just getting like so anxious for us to get our place. I know Jacqueline's real serious about finding us some property and a place to raise our family but I know this is a process we really don't need to rush. I just want everything to be perfect, because I know if there's one person that deserves a perfect home to raise a family in, it's Jacqueline. I promise you this, we're gonna keep looking and we will eventually find us something. 
we're gonna wait and it's gonna be the right thing when you're, we do find something. You're looking hard, right? I guarantee I'm looking hard. I want it just as bad as you do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on. That's Let's get back to town. Hey, Mickey, how you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. How are you? Well, we're glad you come by, Mr. Mickey. We got all these cattle we've been taking care of for Mr. Brett, and they look good. They're fat and fleshy. We think you'd be happy with them. We got a local buyer, Mr. Mickey. He's coming by to check out the cattle that we've been working on with Mr. Brett. It's really important that he's impressed with these cattle. That way he buys them, and then we can all make a little bit of money. Coming off grass. Sorry, grass mm -hmm. and feed. But, but they, there's room to be fed there. They're not just fat and full of feed. There's a lot of grass fat in there, so they'll do good on feed wherever you take them to. All right. No well, health issues? Not really. That's just normal stuff, but everybody pretty much got over it. Well, uh, I'm kind of hard to please on some of these things, you know. The way this board is and everything crazy up and down like yes, it's sir. been, we gotta, it's got to be top of the line. Jeez. Hey, these cattle come in a toppy two, and they're leaving a number one. They're good cattle. You lay your eyes on them, lay a check in our hand, and we'll be just on about our day. How about that? That easy. Huh? <laughs> Let's go check them out. <laughs> Making a sale is real important, but it don't take all three cowboys to negotiate a deal. I'm gonna stay back and look after the rest of these cattle while Bubba and Cody go show them all the other yearlings. Well, Mr. Mickey, what do you think about the cattle? Well, guys, you know, it they look all right. Uh, with this board being like it is up and down, it's, it's uh, I think we're a little light on the weight. I think, yes. it, I think it's going to be tough. It's well, Mickey, honestly, I know them cattle, some of the cattle look underweight, but we do still have grass. Right. But we've got two or three more weeks easy out here. I mean, the three pounds a day, just say 21 days, that's another 60 pounds, give or take. I mean, that's that's not going to be hard to get out of this grass. Yeah. So. I think y'all have done an all right job with the cattle, uh, but uh, we, we're just going to have to wait and see on that. Mr. Mickey tells me that the cattle are looking a little bit light, and I have to disagree with him right now. This is definitely not what I expected. These cattle are healthy. They're at the weight they need to be at, and Mickey's just not happy with them. Well, guys, I think uh, I've got some other cattle to go look at. Uh, you know, some over a little further to the west that's a little closer to the feed yard, and uh, freight's always a concern coming yep. this far. Yes, sir. And uh, it's just part of the business. Y'all know yes, that. Yeah. I've got to look at all the whole big picture for this. Yes, sir. Mr. Mickey, if there's anything we can do to make this deal work, you know, if, if those other places you go by and check on, it's not what you're looking for, and this is, we'll work with you the best way we can. That way we all make money and continue to do business together. Look forward to it. Thank you, Mr. Mickey. Thank you, yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good yes, day. Yes, sir. Mr. Mickey says he's got a lot of more cattle to go look at, and he'll get back with us. I was really looking for a handshake right then. Thank you. I'll take them when you want to ship them type deal, but uh, we didn't get that today. We got to get rid of these cattle. I think we need to stick with our price, so I mean, we can't back off that board and you're giving away cattle. I mean, you give away a penny here, a penny there, before you know it, Mr. Brett ain't made no money, and if Mr. Brett don't make no money, what do we? Guess we need to go tell Booger. Yeah, he's still at the barn, sorting cattle. Shoot. Coming up. Look, this would be a nice piece of property, nice place to put cattle, be easy access getting in here. Really surprising how much traffic's out here. I can't hardly even appreciate how pretty the pea countries are with all these cars driving back and forth. You ready to fish, Matthew? Yep. Think you're gonna catch big fish today? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Matthew, show Kaylee how good you are at casting. Show me how it's done, Matthew. Matthew loves fishing. So when I promised him that I would take him in the morning with Kaylee, I felt terrible when it was storming because he woke up so excited. I felt like we had to go. I feel so much better about everything now that I'm working less. And I, I never thought that I would be able to have what it seems like so many Watch out. other people, you know, so many other people I, I saw getting to, you know, volunteer yes. at the school or just go to the zoo on a Wednesday, you know. Yeah, I, th I think this is exactly where you want to be, you know. You mm -hmm. get to spend all the time with him. Mm -hmm. You and Booger are newly married. You're kind of getting life figured out, get settled. And yeah. I think it's good. I can tell a huge difference in Jacqueline ever since she was able to go part-time. She has exactly what she wants now. She has more time with her son, but she still has a job. I am so happy for her. I'm glad that you married Booger, and I'm glad that you moved here. Because <laughs> now I actually have someone in this area to hang out with. It's it's hard to find someone you can like yeah. effortlessly just chill with. And it's it's nice. Yeah, that's just another thing I'm grateful for is like we have so much in common. And having somebody yeah. that can relate to being married to a cowboy, you know, and just yes. understanding like the way of life that 
Yeah, that we're not living. Easy. It's not yeah. an easy life, for sure. It's nice that I'm becoming such good friends with Kaylee because we both have an awful lot in common, and I feel like I definitely have support up here. I feel like I'm getting less busy, but Booger just keeps getting more and more busy. Yes. They're putting all their energy into this deal with Brett, which I 100% understand, but they've been nonstop lately. Yeah. Brent, that what they <gasps> Guys. are. You got, you got a fish? No? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Bathy, do you want to reel him in? Yes. Reel him in, baby. Oh, it's in. a bass. I caught one. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Grab the line, baby. Grab the line. <laughs> Get it, Matthew. Grab the line. Got it. Daddy. You want to take Good. him off? Good job. I still haven't nailed down what I'm going to get Misty for our anniversary. So I'm just thumbing through some old pictures we have, hoping that maybe I can get inspired. Just a place we were or something we did one day that she really enjoyed. My wife is very simple. She loves simple gifts. She loves just spending time with me and Carter. That would be a gift enough for her. But I really want to do something extra special for her. After looking at these pictures and kind of taking a trip down memory lane, I'm starting to feel more confident in what I want to do for Miss. And I think what I'm going to do for her, she'll really love. Matthew, are you excited if we're going to look at some land? Yes, sir. I promised Jacqueline that I'd get serious on trying to find us a piece of property that we can call home. Today, I'm taking Jacqueline and Matthew to go look at a place that I think is perfect. This could be the one, and I can't wait to see what they think. Matthew, this place has got river frontage. You can go right to the river on here. You know what that means? What? That means we can fish. Oh. What's on your shirt? A fish. A fish on his shirt. I know this property. I've been around it my whole life. You know, it's not that far from my parents. It's not really that far from town either. But it's kind of out here, sort to itself. I can't wait to see this place. I'm really glad Booger's found a piece of property for us to look at. It's actually in a pretty decent location, and there's a river that goes across the back of it. That actually sounds perfect. So I'm definitely optimistic, and I definitely have an open mind going to look at this property. Here it is, right here. Right it's here. right here? Yep, that's right here. Can really? You turn Look at these big old pretty pecan trees. Ain't they nice? Pecan trees are pretty, but I thought you said there was a river. Where's the river? The river's way back there in the back. When we pull up to this property, I am immediately disappointed. I expected Booger to like a piece of property that didn't really have a lot of distractions around. And when we pull up, I see houses everywhere. Really surprising how much traffic's out here. I can't hardly even appreciate how pretty the pecan trees are with all these cars driving back and forth. Look, this would be a nice piece of property, nice place to put cattle, be easy access getting in here. Look, it's farmland. Maybe put a little cross fencing up. You can even put the cows over there. See, now you're thinking like Daddy. <laughs> Good boy. See, us men, we think a lot. See, we can keep the cattle up here, we can move the house closer to the back. If this goes far enough back, that we can have a peaceful home where we don't see all of this, then maybe I could start to like it a little bit better, but it is so loud here. As much as I'm trying to remain optimistic and keep an open mind, there's just something about this property that seems off. So I look at my phone to do research before we decide. Did you know this is a flood zone? This place ain't a flood zone. Yeah, it is, look. Even if you put a house up on stilts back there, I don't think we could ever get insurance on it. This is a real letdown. Right when I get Jacqueline to start coming around and finally starting to see things my way, she realizes that half this property is in a flood zone. That really takes this place out of the equation. It's just not a good idea to buy property in a flood zone because you can never do other things with it in the future. Not counting if a flood comes, you got cattle on it, you got to move them. You can't really plant crops on it because there's a good chance they could flood. I don't think this is the one. Well, if it ain't right, it don't have to be that way. Well, we just keep looking. Something will come up in time. I'm not going to worry and stress about it. It's going to happen when it's right, OK? Mm -hmm. I love you. Coming up. I have a surprise for you. No. Are you serious? I'm scared of heights. I don't like to fly.
have a surprise for you. So as you know, it's our fourth anniversary. I've kept you around for four years now. I've put up with you for four years. <laughs> Today is our anniversary, and Misty's got a surprise for me. And she won't budge an inch now. She won't tell me, give me no clues or nothing about what this surprise is gonna be. I really can't wait to see what it is. Ever since I met you, you have been the wind underneath my wings, babe. Are you slowing down to turn here? No. The wind beneath my wings, huh? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm scared of heights. I don't like to fly. Well, you're going to have to like to glide today. Uh, you've always wanted to do this, yeah. and you brought me along. This so, so you're getting two anniversary gifts today. Are we riding the same plane? No. Tony and I don't really have that much time to just go and do fun stuff. We're always working, so our anniversary is the perfect excuse to get him out of his comfort zone and put him on a glider. So have either of y'all been in a little airplane before? Mm-mm. I'm scared to death of flying and heights. OK. We guarantee that you'll get back on the ground. So one way or the other. <laughs> you'll have fun. Yep. All right. Yep. Hey, you go first. I'll follow. Okay. Bye. Yes, sir. Cody's reaction. He's about to get in the glider. I mean, this big, tough guy getting in a position where he's scared. It's pretty funny. Can you reach everything up here? Yes. You know, once we're loose and we're gliding, we're amongst the clouds, floating, hovering, gliding, whatever you want to call it. I'm a human. I am meant to be on the ground. I don't like roller coasters. I don't even drive 70 going down the interstate. I just want to live and see my little boy grow up and get married. I don't want to go no higher. The only fun part I had on this entire glider ride when we landed, and I shall never, never get back in another glider. My wife Lance, she's grinning from ear to ear. She had a blast. Let me tell you something, woman. Next time you tell me you're gonna surprise me. That was a surprise, wasn't it? I feel like for Cody, the hard part of the anniversary is over. He got the glider behind him. He can say he did it. Done. You better be glad I love you. Hey, Grandma. Why, well, honey? Didn't know you was coming over today. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. I love you, sweetie. Jacqueline and I are having a really tough time finding a piece of property, and it's really starting to get frustrating. But there's one person I can go and talk to and maybe help shine a little light on what we're trying to accomplish. That's my grandma. You know, Grandma, me and yeah. Jacqueline, we've been looking at places. Oh, have you really? Well, mm -hmm. that's great. I'm hoping you can hurry up and find something. I know it. We hadn't found nothing yet. I want a ranch like like we had, like you and Papa had. I tell you, when we bought the ranch up here, it, it was the right price and beautiful piece of property. And I'm so sorry we couldn't keep it, but that's just one of those things that, that's the way with life. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna expect. Mm -hmm. You know, it just don't seem like we're ever gonna find us a place. You know, Matthew's getting bigger, he's gonna be needing somewhere to roam around and play on, and I don't know, it's just like we ain't gonna find nothing. My granddaddy's place is our family land where I grew up. That's where I learned how to be a cowboy. I want to find a place just like that before Matthew grows to be a young man. Finding a piece of land like my papa's, that's really hard nowadays. 
I'm starting to doubt if I'll ever be able to find anything like that to provide for Matthew. Booger, I'll tell you, you know, Jacqueline and Matthew are so, they're such sweet people and I just love them. And uh, I know that one day you'll find the place and you just have to keep looking till you do and don't get discouraged because you, you've got a nice family and and I hope you add to that family one day. <laughs> we might do it. We got to get us a good house first. <laughs> yeah, you need that house first because you won't have room for another one there. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, I knew if I come by and talk to you, at least I'd feel better. <laughs> well, I hope I gave you some advice that'll help you. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> and I love you, honey. I love you too. I'm gonna get out of here. All right. Just mm. be careful. Mm. All right, love you. Give my love to Jacqueline and Matthew. I sure will. See you later. Call me if you need me. All righty, will do. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. I decided to give Misty what I thought would be a nice anniversary gift. I set us up a really nice dinner date out in the middle of our cow pasture. Beautiful sky trees, birds chirping. I mean, this is heaven on earth to me. Tonight we're gonna have steak, Thank asparagus, you. and some shish kebab. That looks really good. Cody walks me out to the pasture and I see this beautiful table setting. He has a meal planned. He's so thoughtful. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. When my wife sees all that I've done to make this date possible, she's really excited. She knows this is from the heart. This is who we are. This is what we do. This has come from the heart. It's crazy. Four years, and look how much we've been blessed with. I, I can't remember a time not being married to you. When it sank in that it was only four years, it was like, wow, it feels like it's been 20. I know. Like if. We've accomplished this much in four years. I can't imagine what this same pace would look like in eight. For us to say that we've been married for four years is just unbelievable to me. It just feels like it has gone by so fast. We've had so much fun. We've accomplished so much. It's been a great time. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm caught up. Uh, in a routine of checking the market every five minutes, it seems like, and the board's already closed, but I'm just so caught up in wanting this deal with Mr. Brett to go well because it could move us that much closer to having our dream home True. built. We have made a lot of sacrifices. Oh, it is really frustrating sometimes to still be living in a small space, to be cramped. You know, it's just like, when are we going to get our new, big, beautiful house? In my mind and my heart, I really wanted our dream home built by now. I mean, yeah. But we've... It, I mean, so do I, but we've made a lot of sacrifices to approach a house way differently than most people our age would ever think about doing. No mortgage. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Cody and I, we have a bigger picture in mind. We're trying to build a house with cash, no mortgage. It's gonna take a lot of sacrifice, but I really think that in the long run, it's gonna really pay off. I've come to accept the fact that we're always gonna have a bunch going on. We're always gonna have more hours in the fire than we need. <laughs> Pardon the book, for instance. I'm so proud of you for getting this book published. Proud of myself, to be honest Yeah, you should definitely be, and I'm gonna work on getting that book launch party all set up. At this point, I've secured the venue. We have the menu ready. I've sent out the invitations. All Cody has to hope is that the people show up. I hope you like this. Oh my goodness! I love this. Do you really? I do. Look. This is one of my favorite moments, obviously. <laughs> Look at his little smushed nose. Huh? That is isn't too handsome, fellas. Huh? They're pretty cute. Cody and I have had an eventful four years. We bought property, we've started two companies, we had a son. I mean, so much beautiful stuff has happened. I cannot imagine my life without either of them, and I am right where I need to be. Here's to us. A lifetime of happiness. Another 100 years like the last four? Absolutely. Me and my wife sitting here talking over our fourth anniversary dinner, you know, we really reflect on what we've done. 
how far we've come in such a short amount of time and the sacrifices we've made for our child and we've made for each other to be able to get to where we are. And you know, if this deal for Mr. Brett is successful, it's gonna be nothing short of amazing for us. But as long as we're together, we're healthy, our baby boy's healthy, I mean, that's all that matters to me in the world. I love you. And I love you. Coming up. Hey, Mr. Mickey. Is he interesting? So you are or you aren't? Yeah, I'm going to Thank you. Come on, get back. Phone's going off, boys. Hey, guys, it's Mr. Mickey. Is it really? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Mickey. Yes, sir, we're doing all right. How about yourself? Oh, uh, we're just finishing up for the afternoon. We're washing some horses off right now. Well, it's the end of the day. Us guys are sitting around bathing our horses off, and Bubba gets a call from Mr. Mickey. He's the guy that was initially going to buy our cattle. Now, this could be one of two things. It either could be he's going to buy the cattle, or he's not going to buy the cattle. We'll just have to see. Really? What's he saying? Is he interesting? So you are or you aren't? All right. He don't want the cattle. I've done my fair share of cattle deals, and I can tell you, if this one's about to go through, Bubba wouldn't still be on the phone right now. Probably need to find us another buyer and figure out how we're going to keep feeding these cattle. It don't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you. Well, my problem is there's a lot of cattle out west coming to town. Everybody's getting them off of wheat right now. Yep. He ain't gonna buy no cattle. I knew he wasn't serious. He was serious, but I mean, I knew he wasn't buy them. Wouldn't give that for them cattle. Oh well. It ain't no sense in getting all worried about it right now, you know. Boys, we don't get these cattle sold. We're gonna be in a mess another week or two. We've got about another week's worth of grass. If, if we get a rain, and we got maybe a week left. Well, it ain't no big deal if we're out of grass because we're out of cattle. No, we got plenty of cattle. No, we don't have any now. He bought them? He bought every single oh, one of them. God dang! He bought every single yeah. one of them, son. <laughs> he bought every single one of them. Woo! Good deal. Making this sale is a huge relief. I'm on top of the world right now. You know, this is a huge milestone for Faith Cattle Company. This is one of the biggest deals that we've ever done. And I'm hoping it can lead to bigger and better things for us. Well, God, all man. that worrying and stressing about getting them cattle sold is over with. When do you want to ship them? He's going to call me back later on this evening. We're going to set up a time. Get them loaded up. They're gonna come pretty quick though, huh? Yes, sir. Next couple of days. Good deal. At the end of this whole deal, Mr. Brett, for the cattle to be sold, for Mr. Brett to be satisfied, for everybody in the business to make money, it's a great feeling. We can all go eat. Go eat on ourselves tonight. Slept good enough with loads of cattle not being sold. Now that they're sold, I think we're gonna sleep a little better. <laughs> Boy, it feels good, doesn't it? Oh, man. Good man. Golly.